Today we are going to look at the second unit that EZA had on Global here. Uh, within the last couple of days, we have Int LR EZA Cell. Uh, full disclosure, I only have this boy at 69%. Uh, on his initial banner, I dumped like 300 stones in as a free-to-play player and got nothing but like a rainbow STR super boo, so uh, well, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Not to mention, he's pretty much been on all of the worst of any of the uh, LR Anniversary banners. Let's see what we're working with. Um, and LR Cell is in slot 2, which is fine. Let's get the super attacks with the AGL cells. Uh, it doesn't really matter how fast or slow we go. Uh, EGL Cell is not the... He's not the greatest at the start here, but the good news is he does have some units that can uh, take the brunt of these enemies' attacks for him early on. Alright, do we just put him in slot 1? I think we do that. So let's take a look at his defense. 270, remember this guy's not rainbowed. But he gets, was it 50% defense on super? Uh, okay, yep, that's 50% defense on super, followed by... Where is it? Yeah, 30% for uh, each super he does. This guy can triple super. So I do have some additionals on him. I gotta change this to a defensive equip. Uh, I'm just kind of running low on equips right now. So 9 key, we still can't get the 18 key. Uh, LR Cell doesn't have the greatest... Yeah, his key sucks, but uh, you don't really want to be doing the 18 key anyways. He's just going to pop a 10 milli and then die. Okay, no one on this rotation really needs to... Yeah, no one on this rotation needs to get hit, so this doesn't really matter. I completely missed his attack stat. I'm assuming it was probably a 5 or maybe a 4 million. Okay, well now we can see. Oh, never mind. We're just gonna hit super. I mean, he should double digit this easily. The cell max isn't too much of a problem. If you have super class in units, he will do damage to them, though. Okay, GL Cell got the additional super. If we don't kill him next turn, we'll be in a really good spot. I don't know how we're gonna do that, though, since our... S no, no, we'll, we'll be alright. Tap the mic there, let's not try, let's try not to do that again. <laughs> Now we have the uh, int. I think we have int 16 on this rotation. Int 16 is a pretty good slot one unit if uh, you get the good luck. Well, let's just take a quick look at uh, Cell's passive again. So he gets uh, two instances of 120% attack or 120% defense. He only gets 120% attack. And then an extra 30% attack per existing enemy, which uh, that's pretty much a max of 5. I don't think you can fight more than 5 enemies uh, in one phase. And then he gets a 50% uh, defensive buff. Oh yeah, the uh, other 120 uh, defense is depending on his HP remaining. And the good news about AG, uh, in LR Cell is that is start of turn. And if you do get, like, put in a position where your HP will be super low, he's just gonna transform anyways, so that, that's pretty good. And then he gets, uh, yeah, the extra 50% attack and defense on super- Okay, so that does stack with support a little bit better. And then, high chance of launching an additional super attack, so it's not the guaranteed additional. Okay, I'm gonna mute my laptop. Doesn't need to be making noise. 
And then, yeah, he evolves when conditions are met, so... 30% defense on 12 key. No defense on 18 key. He should be getting... He should greatly raise attack and defense on 18 key. And then just regularly raise the defense on uh, 12 key. I don't know why they didn't do that. There's no reason for him not to. But we'll go ahead and... Yeah, okay. Definitely don't want to kill Cell on this turn. Or Cell Max. Hmm. I'm gonna need AGL Cell not to additional. Okay, 16 got his guard. 16 also gets 60% damage reduction when he guards, which is nuts. Oh yeah, one other thing to point out about uh, Int 16 is once we go ahead and fight Cell Max, we will uh, type advantage counts as guard, so we'll just be getting the 60% damage reduction outright. The additional two stone. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my goodness. Now we have AGL Cell. This stupid link set next to Indeller Cell, bro. Uh, I, dude, I don't know what to do here. When I know what to do, we're just gonna lose AGL cell off the rotation. Yeah, we're. I mean, we're we're still in a good spot. I I guess, because we've got the uh we've got the tech androids. I just want the, this to be the rotation coming up. I wanted to fight uh, physical uh cell max on this turn. And then go to the next turn and pop the active skill with the androids. But we floated off physical well ourselves, so we'll just we'll just die with metal cooler and uh, active skill next turn, I guess. Uh, we'll do a defense check. He's not a uh, open a life form or anything, so he's just at 270. Okay. I mean, it, it doesn't. The key doesn't matter. We're we're dead. Oh yeah, we're not. We're <laughs> we're big dead. But, uh, yeah, Metal Cool is the goat, so, uh... Mm-hmm. Oh, he only took 1.6 million? Would be able to... No, I don't think we'd be able to knock off a million of that just by getting Metal Cool and Lynx or anything. Also, uh, keep in mind, Metal Cool is not getting the full 200% on his team. He is just getting the 170 from Power Absorption. He's not on Androids. Or Android slash Cell Saga. Okay, now we've got Perfect Cell. It is kind of nice that we do have basically two free turns on this team with the Metal Cooler Revive and the uh, Tech Android's Active Skill. Yeah, the I mean, the tech LR Android, I mean, not tech LR, the tech feature Androids are still so good. And even on next rotation, this rotation is fine. Like, tech, uh, the tech Androids and int 16 in slot 1, that's that's a runnable rotation in this fight. As long as they don't get super, we'd still take the L, because Max is a combo super, not a key blast. This unit, uh, their, their defense is okay, but it's not, it's not super attack ready. Yeah, you can miss me with that. We are dead though, because uh, physical metal cooler ended up at the wrong place in the wrong time. <laughs> so 318 kit. Okay. Yeah, you got a good 40k defense from that. Just by getting his links active. Okay, okay. We can do some free damage here. We also get a lot of attack in. Or a lot of damage in. So we've got so many end orbs here. Let's see. Yeah, he's at a. Okay, 22 key. There's a bow wash cell, man. I mean, I guess I don't have him rainbowed, right? He's one of those units who don't have any extra abilities, it's just staffed, and that's it. And you really want to have those kinds of units rainbowed? Uh, you know, I, I just don't. 
I just don't spend money on the game, you know. Okay, it's a 5 dodge. 60k, he gets a lot of defense on super. 8 million, oh god. He is a boost character, so he's gonna be he's gonna be doing extra damage. No hidden potential. He just cut that down to double digits. I would like to see a uh, hidden potential system additional. I mean, not the the uh, was it the high chance or medium chance of launching additional? I don't, I don't even remember what it was. A hundred k. So yeah, I, I'm gonna really need that guy Rambo. Thankfully, uh, he is going to be on every single one of the LR Anniversary Ticket Banners, 200% uh, not 200%, 200 Stone Summons, all these EZA units are going to be on those banners. So the value in summoning, uh, yeah, and actually now that I think about it, the value at the start of the 8th, we're dead. You know why we survived? How did we survive? What? What? Because you, you all know it's funny. Well, let me finish what I was saying first. But at the start of the 8th, there was almost no value in summoning on that, um... Like, 200 stone summon for the 77 units or whatever they do every year. Uh, you, you almost couldn't get anything good from that. But now, um... Okay, yeah, we'll just do that transformation. But yeah, now you got all LR God Goku's easy. A. He's one of the best units in the game. You got uh, what's his name? The uh, was it the Super Saiyan Goku? The AGO Super Saiyan Goku. He, the funny thing is, he's technically a Carnival Goku because he came out on the Blue Coin Banner. It wasn't the Teal Coin Banner, but he came out on the Rising Dragon Carnival. <laughs> so we technically have uh, three Carnival Super Saiyan Gokus. I just want to make sure we have four key spheres lying around here. Let's see. Even if it's not four, we just need the end orbs for 16. There we go. But yeah, like imagine a couple of years ago summoning on, or just last year, summoning on that banner and pulling in LR God Goku compared to pulling in LR Goku, God Goku right now from one of those uh, banners. The ticket summons, you know, the stone versions. All that stuff is now infinitely more valuable. Now that they showed us that they're actually doing something with these LRs. Okay. Now, because I'm not even gonna lie, uh, what's his name? Physical LR Trunks, when he first easy aid, he, he wasn't that crazy. Um... Uh, this is Will Arcel when he easy ate, he, he was hey, he was alright. Um in Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, like people were actually questioning if he was even better than the tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, so yeah, that's that's how you know, you know, it wasn't that Why'd you go and change? Alright man. Dude, those are even gonna break in the way I want them to. Sure. It is what it is. They are below 30%, so they will get an additional super. That should help their defense a little bit. Cell Max is gonna. Yeah, Cell Max is still gonna kill them though. Int 16 is fine. Well, no. He takes 160k or 170k on the super. So, uh, we are dead here. 140. Oh, because his guard activated. Well, yeah, you still take a little bit less damage, even type advantage, if you actually get the guard. But, uh, that's the Cell Max fight. We'll hop into another fight. Uh, I'll see what else we can come up with. So we've got the pretty much same exact team here. Ready to fight uh, Red Zone Cell Max now. <laughs> Should I bring a healing item or like a damage virtual item? Where we go, where we go. I'm so low on items right now. I've, I've just been playing so much Red Zone just for fun. Like, just off camera for absolutely no reason, just hopping into an event. And yeah, that's kind of deleted all of my items. Except for the Sensus and Dendes. 
I'm actually a little bit lower on Sensus than I am Dende, so I'll just bring a Dende. Uh, we've got two free turns, basically. Um, and they're both on the same rotation. Okay. Well, we do have a full Cell Saga rotation, so... Int 16 hopefully gets his damage reduction. Or guard and damage reduction. Okay. That is 2.9 because we have Gentleman active here. We are going to purposefully go for the 12T. Uh, we need that defense. AGL Cell can still super. He's getting flooded off rotation because he's only at a 190k defense. He gets 30% on super. And then, um. Yeah, 30% defense. He's getting 60, but that's still not enough. Oh, uh, yeah, bye bye, AGL Cell for now. Okay. That's high chance to guard for you. Uh huh, uh huh. Even though we've got a full Cell Saga rotation. Oh, yeah, there goes the super. Thanks, 16. Alright, I'm just I'm not even gonna cut. I can just tap the button and we'll do it again. Hopefully, the game doesn't think I want to run Intel or so. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully we can get 17 and 18 or Metal Cool on the same rotation, which we can here. We can get two free turns back to back almost. Yeah, we can't trust 17 and 18 to take that. <laughs> Selmax is going to be in, I mean, tech next turn, huh? I probably don't have to waste Metal Cooler's Revive. I can just put 16 in slot 1. Because we'll get the, uh, we'll get the guaranteed 60% damage reduction once we're fighting a tech enemy. So that is pretty nice. We did, like, no damage. That's, that's cool. And, uh, 16 gets the super first. Okay. I want to save all those tech orbs for the androids. <clears throat> Especially since he's what, int next turn? Yeah, I think he's int. We have, on the, we have another AGL cell. Physical cell can go on slot one, I guess. Or maybe not. Because I would probably have to grab some of those orbs, and they're probably all going to be tech orbs, and just destroy everything I've built up for the tech androids, anyways. We're good here, this is completely nothing. If, we, if he does kill us on this turn with like a super the metal cooler or something, we're gonna be fine. We dodge. Pretty sure this boy has like 9 or 10 dodge. I gave, I gave him no crits. I, I couldn't care less if a 2 million attacks that crits or not. I really couldn't. And he's got mainly additional to get that double defensive buff. Okay, AJ, I mean, uh, in LR Cell, he hasn't been able to get any of his crazy lens active or anything. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna heal back up. Everyone on this turn is gonna be healing, actually. Uh, AGL fell, physical cells gonna heal any supers. Uh, the tech androids are gonna heal when they, uh, grab orbs. Hopefully those end orbs do not get changed. We need to grab those with physical cell. Please do not tank. Ooh, how are we gonna... How are we gonna super with AGL so I don't know. Maybe we just don't. Because the tech androids definitely need these orbs more than anyone. I'm gonna heal just so we don't potentially get one-shotted. If we do fall below the HP threshold, we'll get our boy, uh, Intel Arcel to transform, which we do want. We'll heal back up after barely taking any damage. The 
it's so unfortunate that physical LR cell has no super attack effect. I, bro, what were they cooking? He just gets stuff on super and that's it. Oh, uh, we're dead, dude. <laughs> I'll come back in one more time. I, I might just... If it doesn't work out, I might just end the video. We've got Cells Galore on this turn. In Bellar Cell is probably going to be the best candidate for slot 1. Wow, so I'm actually attacking quite a lot up there, huh? We got 318k again. We'll just grab the Indoors. And then uh, AGL Cell can grab the AGLs. Okay. Uh, next turn I might not use the active skill because we've got the uh, we've got the revive in our back pocket as well as uh, int 16 in slot one against the tech phase meaning he'll be able to cut that damage down by a lot and well we might not die but Zomax might whittle us down on that turn which would okay that's the five dodge which would help us just straight up heal I mean not heal uh, revive. Hopefully we can get it in the video. I'm not. I'm really not going to chase this uh, transformation. He does become absurd. But, but the thing is, by the time you transform with uh, an LR cell, you're probably going to have Ajo cell out in his uh, perfect form. You need to put him in slot one because in LR cell, all of the buffs he gets from collecting orbs uh, activate on super. I'll go over that later. But it, it, it activates on super. You're taking damage up to double super right now. You got 90% damage, I mean, uh, 90% defense afterwards on that turn. Um, you know, you don't need to super. You're gonna be fine regardless. Both of you do need to super. I don't want to get one-shotted. I still want to get Metal Puller a couple of hits to build up. That's not good, because he raises his... He raises his attack every time he does one of those 28... Yeah, that's with no one's active. This 16... The, what I like about uh, what they do with some of these free-to-play units is... They, they can be good situation, right? If 16 gets his guard active, he's, he's not taking anything. Or, if you're just gonna fight a tech enemy, you can guarantee that he never takes anything for like the entire fight. Or if like the strongest enemy in that fight is an uh, attack, you can just make sure you break him and you'll be alright. I just wish they made more free to play units like that. Instead of uh AGL brought on. Okay, we're dead. Well, no. No transformation, we'll just uh, revive with Metal Core. He can take a couple of hits to build up though before he got clapped, so I, I, I do like that. We're gonna be fighting an enemy, I don't think we'll need to use the Tech LR Androids. I mean, not the LR. The Tech No Contest Android, I don't think we'll have to use their active skill. Depends on how many attacks are coming in slot 3 though. That is three, I don't trust it. I immediately do not trust it. Uh, now it's turn four, we're gonna have... Still use the active scope, but we're only gonna have second form, so... Okay, we can get, we can get a nice attack staff for uh, Indel our cell here. <laughs> So I'm actually going to be physical next turn, but I think I'm just going to trust 16. If 16 dies, he dies, but uh, I'm going to trust him because I'm not putting Super Saiyan... Super Saiyan? I'm not putting second for himself in slot 2. I mean slot 1. 
He's definitely going slot two. 8.9, almost a 9 million attacks. He can do damage if he does one of these. Triple supers. And they're all like 6 millions or something, but... He, he's here to tank and slot two. Which he does fairly well. We would have seen it better if Selmax was supering in that second slot. But yeah, this team is still missing uh, some critical easy A's. We still need that prime battle easy A for, uh, what's his name, Tech. Uh, first form cell, we do need that. Uh, who else will we need an easy A for? We rest the R. Okay. Fine by me. Uh, we do have type of grind, but some of that can still do damage to us, so hopefully we can get just below the threshold. Okay, well, uh, I'll take that dodge. I, I do want him to uh, get hit after he supers. Did he still take damage, but we wouldn't die. We only have to fall below 40%. Now some max can super. Please super. Please super. No! <laughs> Whatever, dude. We we're not gonna get it. Some max would have to super a third time right here, which is so unlikely. I could have put 16 in one of those slots, but if he if he got the guard, we weren't taking anything, so. Well, I guess we can just make sure we move on this turn. This will heal us up. Uh, Metal Cooler, he's, he's a very good utility unit. Um, his strength is really on the Wicked Bloodline team, where slot 1 is really the, like, being held down by Tech and AGL Golden Fraser. And then you can float two of this guy in slot two and have that revive ready to go whenever. 260, right? I just put you in slot one, my boy. So he's not fully built up yet. The good news is, Selmax, uh, he is as strong as he's going to get immediately. So uh, he's not going to be doing much more damage to Metal Core than we saw before. Super send me away. You kind of done this to uh, AGL Cell? 430. Yeah, Metal Cooler really does get a lot from that 30% defense because the start of turn defense is just so massive. Um, I go to Super. Let's just see how Cell, uh, Intel or Cell does. 8.1. I should have went for the 12 key, but I mean, showcase damage, whatever. <laughs> no additionals whatsoever. And then, keep in mind, mine is only 69%. Um, this team obviously can take down this event with good RNG, but no. Uh, it is what it is. I'll, uh, I'll end the video there. Um, I did beat the Cell Max mission with that uh, with this team with the artificial life forms. Not this exact team. The Tech Androids. I had AGL Super 17 instead of the Tech Androids. I guess I might be able to do a video on that. Uh, um, beating this event with the Hybrid Saiyans, I believe. I can do that now that AGL or Gohan is in the game, so I guess uh, that'll be one of my videos coming up. And... What is this? Battle of Wits. I guess I'll probably have to do on like Piccolo's game or something. But anyways, that's the video. Int Intel or so he's, he's alright if you get to transform with him, otherwise he's pretty mid. I wouldn't say he's bad though, he, he's obviously good. He brings a lot of utility to the table, it's another cell unit that can handle these uh, stronger bosses. Maybe not outright like, no cell anything these bosses have to say, but they, they can take him pretty well. Anyways, uh, be sure to like and subscribe, I'll catch you guys in the next video.